Okay, so I am going to to design a decoration lighting system. Okay, with eight LEDs for a client. Okay, so you have eight LED connected to your micro P. Okay, so eight LEDs connected to your Art Mega Thirty Two. The system will be placed on the front desk of the client shop to attract a customer to their shop. The placement of LED are in a row, so the client are so requested to have the three different set of baking pattern which have been defined in the table six. Okay, so this is the table six. You have three different blinking patterns here. Right. Okay, so for the pattern number one, okay, you see this is a pattern number one. Okay, so what you're going to do is, okay, this blinking pattern is you want you're going to do a running light. Okay, which is okay the bold. Okay, which is in in this in this uh, question here, the yellow color here means that LED is on. Okay, warna kuning ni LED on, while the rest LED off. Okay, you have eight LEDs. Okay, this is your LEDs. Okay, in which for the pattern one, bit seven. Okay, okay, your LED seven will lights up while the rest will light off, and it will do the pattern until sequence number thirteen, which is you are going to do a running light sequence. Okay, so you have the remarks here. Okay, the delay between blinking is two hundred fifty millisecond, which is triggered by INT zero. Okay, so now you you know that every time you see oh this this one is INT zero means that you're going to do an interrupt programming. Okay, every time you see the INT means that you're going to do the interrupt programming. Okay, so. Okay, so anyone, any question up until here? Ada soalan tak? Okay, so now you're going to do an interrupt programming. Okay, which is the delay between this sequence here you have for the pattern one you have thirteen sequence. Okay, ada tiga belas sequence here. Okay, so each of this sequence here, okay, you have a blink a delay of two hundred milliseconds. Okay, means that this LED will light up at approximately two hundred fifty milliseconds before it change to the next sequence. Okay, so this is the for the pattern number one. Okay, so for pattern number one will be triggered by INT zero. Okay, every time you press the INT zero button, okay, you will do pattern number one. Okay, sekejap ya, so I need to. Uh, to do the setting here, preference. Let's look in my copy multimeter in both view. Kejap ya. Let's stop sharing. Okay, mesti because you will hear beeping sound at the background. Okay, I want to disable that beeping sound. Okay, entry and exit. Alright, so we good to go. To share this one here, mana tadi? Share contents.
Okay. So we continue with our uh, okay discussion here. All right. So next, we, you have a pattern two. Okay. So this is your pattern two, which is you going to do the alter. Uh, this is the blink blinking lah, blinking LED patterns. Okay. For the first sequence here, what you're going to do is four LED will light up while the another four LED will turn off, and then the next sequence, this LED will turn off while the the next four sequence. LEDs are turn, turn on. Okay, so the delay between this blinking is 500 milliseconds. Okay, previously 200 millisec 250 milliseconds. Now the blink the delay is 500 milliseconds. And this pattern 2 will be triggered by INT1. Okay, so pattern 2 will be invoked or triggered by INT2. Okay, next we have a Third pattern here. Okay, so this one here, you want to do the alternate, uh, what we call here, sequence. Okay, so this is the sequence you're going to do. First is, the odd LED will light up. The second sequence, the even LED will light up. Okay, so it will keep repeating as long as you trigger this, this I and pattern 3. So this pattern 3 will be triggered by INT2. Okay, sorry, this one here, this is INT1, yang ni INT2. Okay, so the delay between blinking is 750 milliseconds. Okay, so the delay between pattern 1, pattern 2 and pattern 3 are different. Okay, so you need you need to take notes that the delay are between, be different between pattern 1, pattern 2 and pattern 3. Okay, so the system use a microcontroller AVR Art Mega 32 with 8 LED as output connected to your port C. Okay, so what you're going to do is you draw lah your circuits. Okay, you have this is your Art Mega. You have a port C. Letak lah mana-mana. Tak kisah pun. You want to place here, 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 here. Doesn't matter. As long as the LED are connected to your port C. Okay, so you have eight LEDs. All L this LED are connected to port C. Okay, so in this uh, question here, okay, it that it doesn't say that the LED you should use the LED uh, common ended or communicated. Okay, so you can choose I. Either one, either you want to use the common ended or communicated. Unless in the question it's specified specified that you going uh you need to use this the communicated, then you need to to use the communicated lah. Okay. If not, you you can use either one, common ended, common communicated. But usually, if the what we call here the common configuration is not stated, okay, we uh you need to draw the circuit okay so according to your circuit here we, you need to identify which common configuration that you are using okay so this led connected to port c <coughs> semua dengar ya any question up until here ada soalan tak sebab so, this question is quite long okay actually the answer is quite short but the question is quite long okay you need to understand this question here. Okay, you need to to extract all the information from this question. Okay, before you can do question six. Okay, ada soalan tak? Okay, if if ada soalan, you can ask me anytime. Bila bila masa kamu nak tanya kamu boleh tanya. Semua dengar ya? Eh? Okay, for the switch, alright, switch to active high ke active low? Okay, for the this switch here, alright, the switch that you're going to use is, because this one is uh, what we call here, interrupt. So, interrupt always active low switch, okay? So, for the interrupt, for the reset, we always use active low switch, okay? You cannot use active high switch, okay? Interrupt and reset. Always active low switch. 
Okay, any question? Ada question? Okay, lepas tu dia kata apa lagi? Assume that delay 250 millisecond is provided. Okay, to generate delay of 250 millisecond. Okay, so you... Okay, you just take note that delay 250 millisecond already been provided. So you just use this delay here every time you want to call this delay. Okay, so setiap kali kamu nak panggil delay, just use the provided delay. No need to calculate the timer to generate 250 millisecond. Okay, three external interrupt which is INT0, INT1 and IT2 will be used to choose the blinking pattern. Okay, so you are going to use three INT here, external interrupt which is INT0, INT1 and INT2. Okay, before you use this INT0, INT1, INT2, you need to know lah where is the location of your INT0, INT1, INT2 at in, in your ART MEGA 32, which is, okay. So, for this one here, yeah, INT0, okay, the location of INT0 dekat mana? What is the location of your INT0? Okay, at PD2. INT1. Okay, PD3, what about INT2? Okay, dekat PB2. Okay, so you need to make sure lah. Okay, so you you draw lah your switch. Okay, PD2. Okay, this is your switch, active low switch. Okay, so this is go to your INT0. And then you have a PD3. And then the... Satu lagi active low switch, L. For the INT2, you draw PB2, D is another active low switches. Okay, so you have three switch that are connected to PD2, PD3 and PB2. Okay, they are associated for the this interrupt here, external interrupts. Okay, and then all its... Uh, pin at the port C are connected to your LED. So in this case here, I use common cathode. Okay. So now, let's look at the question here. Apa, apa lagi dia kata ni? Okay, triggering the... Okay, before that. What the question say? Alright. Triggering INT0 will call subroutine ISR pattern 1. Okay, which is your pattern 1 tadi lah. Trigger INT1 will call subroutine pattern 2 and trigger INT2 will call a subroutine of your pattern 3. Okay, so given the diagram in the figure 6A, sketch on the diagram the circuit comprising all the basic requirements, 3 active low switches and 8 active high LED that are connected to the microcontroller. So you need to draw the circuit lah. All of the basic requirements. The three active low switches and eight active high LED. So active high LED. What, what is active high LED? Apa itu active high LED? Means that you send one, LED akan turn on. Okay. Every time you send one, the LED will Turn on. So in this case here, you are going to use to use common cathode. Okay, why? Because you send satu kat sini, you send one. Okay, so this is zero. The current will flow through your LED. That LED akan menyala. Okay, so that's why we we use the common cathode. Okay, if you use a common anode, so it's wrong lah for this question here. Okay, so sekarang ni kita nak lukis lah. Given this circuit here, you are going to draw. Okay, so first thing first, what you're going to draw is, okay, because this is a basic requirement. So the basic requirement for what we call here, for Art Mega 32 is, you need to have the reset button. Okay, so the reset button already been provided. Okay, so your VCC uh, must connected to your, 5 volt 
and ground connected to your ground lah. Okay, why? This one here, this is your RF here, must connected to your capacitor. Okay, yang ni kamu akan lihat dekat ADC nanti. Okay, make sure that you watch my ADC video. Okay, I already uploaded the ADC video. Apart, uh, cuma except for the ADC programming. Okay, I will upload the ADC programming. Maybe lah. Next week. Okay, the, the, the earliest is next week. Okay, so now this is your Art Mega 32. So you're going to do the wiring or circuit. Uh, okay, for this uh, Art Mega 32. So apa ni kita nak buat? First thing first. Okay, you have a port C. Port C need to connect it to kat mana? Port C. Okay, port C you need to connect to your LEDs. Okay, so this is LED. Active high LED. So, need to connect it to your port C. Okay, so draw lah your LED here. Okay, make sure that you use a common cathode. Okay, must put a resistor. Okay, each of the, this LED must put a resistor. Okay, so you draw this. All of this port C. Okay, all of the port C here. Ada 8 pin out here. You need to draw all of this connected to your LEDs. Okay, so ada 8 lah kat situ. Okay, next. You have 3 active low switches. Okay, so 3 active low switches that are connected to your interrupt. Okay, first is INT0. Okay, kalau kamu tengok kat sini, you see here. INT0, it already stated in this figure here. So, PD2 is INT0. So, just look this lah. So, this one, go to ground. INT1, okay. So, PD3, connected to ground. And satu lagi, INT2. Mana INT2? Dekat PB2. So, this is your PB2. See? INT2. So this one here also you connected to Okay, so you get 5 marks Okay, any question sampai sini? Ada soalan tak? Up until here Okay, this is how you going to do a wiring Okay, sketch the diagram of your circuit Okay, if no questions Okay, next we are going to write the Programming. Okay. So you can. Okay. For for this one here. Okay. So A. Okay. So let's look at question 6A. Actually, this is a 6B. Yeah, so what, this is your 6A. And then this is your 6B. Okay. So please make a correction here. Tukar yang ni jadi 6B. Okay, so this one is 6B. Alright, write a, the code that implement interrupt service routine ISR pattern 1. Okay, you're going to write down the pattern 1. Assume that subroutine delay, salah ni. Okay, please make correction. Delay 250ms is provided to give a 250 millisecond delay. Okay, please make a correction kat sini. Okay, the subroutine delay 250 millisecond is provided. Okay, so no need to do this 250 millisecond delay. So you know that delay 250 millisecond already been provided. Okay, so what is our pattern 1? Okay, kena tengok balik semula. Okay, you need to look back at your, at your pattern 1. Mana kita punya pattern 1. Okay, so this is your pattern 1. Okay, you're going to do a running light. Starting from LED 7. Okay, and then it's go to LED 0. And it come back to your LED 6. Okay, the pattern is a running light pattern. Okay, macam mana nak buat ni? How to write down the ISR pattern 1?
Okay, macam mana nak buat? Any volunteer? What is what is the first is uh, first instruction that you're going to do? Okay, to do the interrupt service routine for INT pattern number one, which is this for INT zero. Okay, pattern one is for INT zero. Okay, what are you going to do? Apa nak kita nak buat? Okay, Kelvin. Can you tell me how to do to do this? Daniel, how to start the INT1 punya programming? Oh, sorry, INT0 programming. Which is to display pattern 1. Come on, guys. Cepat, cepat, cepat. Hurry up. Okay, you need to name your interrupt service routine. Okay, your ISR. Make sure that your ISR name are correct. Okay, what is the ISR name for INT0? What is the ISR name for INT0? Come on, come on. Open your the, your lecture notes. Notes. Okay. Okay. I see. There are a few steps that you need to remember in order to write down your interrupt programming. Okay, one of those is you need to make sure that your ISR name are Correct. Okay, so what is the ISR name for INT0? Okay, apa yang nama ISR yang kita kena pakai untuk INT0? Okay, can you see my apa ni PPT here, PowerPoint? Semua dapat tengok tak my PowerPoint kat sini? Anyone? Semua dapat tengok tak PowerPoint kat sini? Guys? PowerPoint. Can you see my PowerPoint here? I already share the PowerPoint. Okay. Alright, so now, okay, so this is the, okay, interrupt vector name for your Artmega32 in WinAVR. So you need to make sure that your interrupt here, okay, you need to follow this name here. Make sure that the name is correct, okay, in order to use the interrupt service routine. Okay, since you are going to use the INT0, so this is your INT0. Okay, so your ISR name for INT0 is INT0 underscore back. Okay, so ISR open bracket. Okay, so INT0 underscore back. Okay, make sure the name is correct. Okay, pastikan dia punya nama ni sama dengan table ni. Okay, so every time you going to write down your interrupt programming, you need to refer to this table. Okay, if the name is different from this table, you cannot do your interrupt service routine. Okay. Okay, your interrupt will not triggered. Okay, so we go back to our question here. Okay, so since this one here, pattern one, okay, will be triggered by INT0. So what you're going to do is, so ISR INT0. 
underscore back. This is your interrupt service routine for IS, INT0. Okay, so open clear bracket and put lah clear bracket down here. Okay, jauh ni. Because you have a lot of pattern that you want to display kat sini. Okay, can I have my mouse? Macam mana nak dapatkan mouse ya? Yeah? Okay, so I I need to put my close curly bracket down here, kat bawah sekali kat sini. Okay, contohlah kat situ. Okay, so first thing first, okay, so the first pattern that you going to send is, okay, this pattern here. Okay, bit seven lights on while the rest of the bit is turn off. Okay, macam mana nak hantar? How to send out this pattern here to your port C. So that only bit 7 light on the rest turn off. Okay, only LED bit 7 turn on. Yang the rest light off. How to do that? Okay, so port C equal to 0B1000. Okay, always use the binary representation. Okay, you can use hexadecimal if you want, but I prefer to use binary representation. Okay, so that you not mix up with the numbers. Okay, so kamu tulis kosong port C 0B. Okay, so just send out. Alamak. Okay, port C sama dengan 0B 1000000000. And then, what are you going to do? After you send this number here. Okay, so LED 7. Okay, this one here, LED 7. Turn on. And then, what are you going to do after that? Okay, you need to call your delay. How many seconds that you're going to, to call delay? 250 millisecond okay so delay 250 ms okay make sure the this delay name here similar to the one that are provided okay pastikan dia punya nama kat sini sama dengan the one that are provided okay next what are the second sequence okay just write down port c Sama dengan, okay, we just write this uh, easy, what we call here, easy programming, okay. So, just send out the the, the 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 pattern that you want to display, okay. Of course, like, you can use the looping, but I don't want to use the looping, okay. So, we just use the easy programming, okay. So, kosong B, kosong satu because you want to light up bit nombor 6. Okay, which is LED 6, kosong, 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 kosong. And then this is what happened is LED 6 turn on. Okay, and then call your delay. Okay, then follow by port C. Now, LED 6 akan nyala. So, 0B0010000. Delay 250 millisecond. Okay. And then you keep writing until lah the last sequence here. Sampai lah sequence yang terakhir. Okay. The last, what is the last sequence here? This one. Okay. Which is port C equal to 0B, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Boleh ya? Okay. Three. Where are we now? Okay, kat sini. Okay, so you keep writing. Okay. Until lah. 
pot C sama dengan kosong B 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, this is LED 6 tengala. Okay, so this is the sequence nombor 13 lah. Okay, so this is sequence kosong. This is sequence 1, sequence 2 and you write down all the sequence here. And then, last but not least, make sure lah you call the 250 millisecond delay. Okay, so any question here? Okay, so this is the simple programming lah. Okay, so you just send out the value according to your pattern. Okay, of course lah. If you don't want to write down some, okay, panjang macam ni, okay, you can use the, apa ni, you can use the looping, uh, okay, by sh first shift your uh, value to the right. And then after that, you shift back the value to the left. Okay, so this is more complicated lah compared to this one. So I, I just... Okay, RETI, no need to put the RETI. Kenapa tak perlu letak RETI? So no need to put the RETI. Okay, because we use the... What we call here C programming. The RETI actually this one here. The... Close curly bracket. So, this is an equivalent to your RETI. Okay, of, of course, like, if you use the assembly language, okay, at the end of the programming here, you need to put the RETI. So, that the micro pin know you want to return from your interrupt service routine. But, for the C programming, so, you just put the close curly bracket so the micro pin know that you already done your interrupt service routine okay so this close curly bracket is actually equivalent to RETI okay any other add, any question up until here ada soalan tak okay kalau tak ada soalan next kita go to this one here alright yang ni Okay, so write the codes. Alamak. Okay, write the, the codes that implements the interrupt service routine of pattern 2. Assume subroutine. Okay, so... Another correction here. Please make a correction. Yang ni 250 millisecond ya. Is provided. Okay. To give a 250 millisecond delay. Okay. Now you're going to do the pattern 2. What is the pattern 2? Apa tu pattern 2? Okay. Look back at this, this table. Okay. So this is your pattern 2. Okay, we see you want to do the uh, the blinking. Alright, so pattern 2 will be triggered by INT1. Okay, so pattern 2 akan triggered by INT1. And then the delay between the blinking is 500 milliseconds. Okay, just now 250. Now you're going to need to make the delay 500 milliseconds. So macam mana nak buat? Okay, sama jugalah. Okay. So similar to the one that we we already did previously. Okay, first the first what you're going to do is you need to make sure the ISR name is correct. Okay, so what is the ISR name that you're going to do to use here? So this is INT berapa ni? Pattern 2, INT 1. Okay, so by refer back to this table here. So what is the INT 1 punya uh, Vector name. Okay, so this is the INT1 underscore vector. So this is the in, interrupt service routine that you need. Okay, the name of your interrupt service routine. INT1 underscore vector. Okay, so kamu letak INT1 underscore vector. 
Okay, next, what are you going to do? Okay. So, buatlah you punya pattern. What is the first pattern? Okay, what is the first value that you're going to send out to your port C? Apa? Okay, so what is the port C value? Okay, so port C sama dengan kosong B. 1, 1, 1, 1. And then 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, next, you're going to generate how uh, 500 millisecond delay. How to do that? Okay, for pattern 2, okay, the delay between uh, LED blinking are 500 milliseconds. Okay, so you need to call this delay here twice. Okay, panggil dua kali. Okay, so delay 250 ms and then delay 250 ms okay you call it twice so now what happened is kamu dah generate 500 millisecond delay okay next okay you send out another pattern port c sama dengan kosong b Kosong, 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 kosong. And then follow up. One, 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 one. And then call the delay. 250 milliseconds. Twice. Okay. Dua kali. Kamu panggil delay yang sama. 250 millisecond. Dua kali. And then. What are you going to do? Okay. Close kali. Bracket. Okay, tutup kamu punya clear bracket kat situ. Okay, so this is the, the ISR for INT1. Okay. So next. Mana ya? Okay. Okay, so now you're going to write the code that implement the interrupt service ISR pattern 3. Okay, so sama juga ni. Please make correction kat sini. Okay, assume that the 250, eh, not 100 millisecond. 250 is provided to give 200 millisecond delay. So this one here, this is INT2. Okay, so INT2. Okay, what is the pattern for INT2 when you trigger the INT2? Okay, so this is the pattern lah. Okay, you going to do the alternate LED blinking. Okay, so now the delay that between the blinking is 750 milliseconds. Delay is 750 milliseconds. How you going to do that? Okay. So first thing first. Okay. Initialize your IS. So ISR INT2 underscore back. Okay. Make sure that the name is correct. Okay. Pastikan nama dia sama dengan table. Okay. Okay. The name is must same to this table. Okay, similar to this table here. Okay, next. Okay, open clear bracket. Okay, what are you going to do? Okay, just send out the pattern. Okay, so what is the pattern that you want to send out? The first pattern. Okay, apa dia? Port. C sama dengan, what is the value kat sini? Okay, what is the value that we need to send out so that we can do the alternate LED blinking? Okay, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. 
and then you need to generate 750 millisecond. How to do that? Nak buat macam mana? Okay, call delay 250 millisecond. How many times? Three times. Okay, panggil tiga kali. Okay, 250 plus 250 and plus 250, you generate 750 millisecond. Okay, next. Lepas tu, nak buat apa pula? Okay, send the second sequence to to the port C. Okay, what is the second sequence to the port C? Kosong B. Okay, kosong satu, kosong satu, kosong satu and kosong satu. Okay, and then call the same delay three times. Okay, and then close your clear bracket. That's all. Okay, so you are already. Okay, you already. Uh, do the programming for INT one, INT two, and INT zero. Okay, now the last question here. Okay, so you are going to write the full main program. Okay, main program. Okay, kasi ni main program that implement the overall system. Okay, the program should include all the required initialization, such as defining your port as input or output, putting the right setting to your interrupt function, okay, and then as a default, all LEDs will be lights up. Maksudnya kat sini, every time you you turn on your Atmega 32, okay, so all the LED will lights up. Okay, semua LED akan nyala every time you turn on your Art Mega 32. So that you know that your what we call here your programming is ah uh, working. Okay, so this, this is the indicator lah yang mengatakan yang kamu punya programming kamu dah burn ke dalam kamu punya IC. You already burn your programming to your IC. Okay, so assume the interrupt service. Okay, so this one here we already done. ISR pattern 1, pattern 2 and pattern 3. Okay, so no need to write those code. Okay, so yang ni tak perlu tulis lagi. Okay, all the things that we already tulis kat atas ni. All the things that we already write it. Okay, at the top here. No need to write again. Okay. So apa kita nak buat ni? What we going to do? Okay, what is the first step that we are going to do? Okay, to write an interrupt programming. Okay, so make sure that you include the appropriate, the necessary header. Okay, for in, first include avr slash io dot hash. Okay. Ada lagi tak nak include? What else? Okay, you need to include avr slash interrupt dot h. Okay, so make sure that you include these two files here. Okay, these two header here. Okay, so one is io dot h, the other one is interrupt dot h. Because you are going to you to do the interrupt programming. Okay, next. Lepas tu nak buat apa? Okay, start with your INT main void. Okay, start with your main programming. Okay, open clear bracket. Okay, before we start with our main programming, okay, ingat lagi tak? Remember back that uh, we already, uh, okay, the delay 250 millisecond already been provided. So, you need to Initialize, okay, 
define CPF underscore CPU. Okay, kamu nak define pun boleh, tak define pun boleh. Okay, you can define. But in this case here, no need to define lah because it not saying that the what is the CPU value. So, no need to define. Okay, in this case, tak perlu define pun tak apa. Sebab your external dia tak bagi tahu berapa. Okay, so now we we need to ni lah. Okay, we need to declare our delay 250 milliseconds. Okay, just write down. Um, void. Okay, delay 250 milliseconds. Okay, itu je. Alright, so starting with your INT main programming. So what you going to do? First thing first, apa kita nak kena buat kat sini? Okay, initialize your input output port lah. Okay, that is the first thing that you're going to do. You need to initialize your input output port. Okay, so D port C connected to LED. So port C, okay, you need to initialize as a output port. How to initialize port C as output port? D, D, R, C sama dengan what value that you need to put here. Okay, F, F. So, C sama dengan output port. Okay, so make sure that you follow all the step that I told you in the video eh, how to write the C programming. Okay, so this is step number one followed by step number two. What is the step number two, step number three and until step number six if not mistaken. Okay, so need to follow all those steps. Okay, you can refer to my video. Okay, so next Okay, we already initialize port C as an output port. Lepas tu, port up. What else? Which port that you are going to initialize? Okay, port B. So, DDRB. Why we need to initialize our DDRB? Ingat lagi tak? INT2 are con okay, located at your PB2. So, you need to initialize your port B as a input port. Okay, so just initialize all the port B as a input port. Senang cerita. Okay, after you initialize your port B as an input, what are you going to do that next? Okay, enable pull up resistor. Okay, every time you use your port as an input which is connected to your switch, make sure that you enable your pull up resistor. Okay, why you need to enable pull up resistor? Okay, you can find out the answer in my lecture notes. Okay, lepas tu apa lagi? Next, what you going to do initialize? Okay, port C, port B. Ada lagi tak? Okay, ada lagi DDRD. Okay, your port D. Okay, port D you need to make it as a input port. Kenapa? Because your INT0 and INT1 are located at your PD2 and PD3 respectively. Okay, so make sure that you initialize your port D as a input as well. Okay, so initialize. Enable the pull up resistor. Okay, so after you initialize all the input output port, so lepas tu nak buat apa pula? Port D sama dengan input. Next, what you going to do? This is the most important thing in the interrupt programming. Dah. After you finish the input output port, the initialization of your input output port, okay, make sure that you enable, okay, ni paling penting ni, enable your interrupt. Okay, dekat mana kita nak enable interrupt? Okay, you, we, we have two location that we need to enable, two register. Okay, you need to enable your interrupt. The first register is GICR. Okay, yang ni kalau kamu pakai 
external hardware interrupt. Okay, or TIMSK if you're going to use the timer interrupt. Okay, so this is the, the first register that you're going to initialize. Okay, to enable your interrupt. Either GISR or TIMSK depending on the interrupt, the type of interrupt that you're going to use. Okay, the second register is your status register. Okay, in which selalunya kat status register kita akan initialize your I flag. Okay, selalunya untuk untuk enable your I flag, just write down S E I. Okay, so ada dua tempat you need to enable your interrupt. One at your GICR, the second one at your by using the S E I instruction. Okay, if you fail to enable this interrupt here, okay, let's say lah, if you enable at GICR, then you forget to enable S E the card your status register. What happened is you cannot trigger your interrupt. Okay, if you enable the status register but you forgot to enable the GISR, you, you also cannot trigger your interrupt. Okay, so make sure you enable your interrupt. Okay, enable your interrupt correctly lah. Okay, so GICR. So what is the value that you need to put to your GICR? Okay, you are going to use the INT1, INT0, and INT2. Okay, what is the value that you're going to put to your GICR? Okay, 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay, so 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Kenapa 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0? Okay, so you need to refer your to your GICR lah. Okay. Okay, so this one you can refer back to my lecture notes or my video. Okay. So now what happened is after you put this value here, I you going to use the INT2, INT1, and INT0. Okay, so if you're going contoh lah, okay, example lah, if you if you are going to use only INT1 and INT0, make sure that the value here is correct lah. You cannot use the 110. If you use the 110, 0000, then it is incorrect. Okay, it is wrong. Okay, unless if you're going to use all the interrupt here, INT2, INT1, INT0, so the value is 1110000. Okay, next. Lepas tu nak buat apa pula? Okay, Amir, what we, we are going to do? SEI. Okay, SEI ni kita letak bawah sikit. Okay, we just put here SEI. Bef before we do the SEI. Ada dua lagi. Okay, we are going to Okay, we are going to set our MCU CR and MCU CSR. Okay, ada dua ni. Kenapa ada dua? Why we need to set at this MCU CR and MCU CSR? Kenapa? Why? Okay, because you're going to 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 uh, to initialize the level trigger. Either it's a falling edge trigger or rising edge trigger. Okay, the reason we're going to uh, to initialize the MCUCR and MCUCR is you can refer to my video. I already explained why we need to initialize the MCUCR and MCUCSR. Okay, so what is the value for the MCUCR? Okay, contoh lah sekarang ni, I want to use the falling edge trigger. Okay, what is the value for the MCUCR? Falling edge trigger for all of these in INT2, INT1, and INT0. Okay, apa value kat sini kita nak letak? Mana MCU CSR interrupts external interrupt program ni. Okay, this is your GICR. Okay, this is my MCU CR. Falling edge trigger. What is the value for the falling edge trigger? You see, one zero. 
Okay, so this is for int 0. So 1, 0, you need to put here. So this is int 0. And for the int 1, also 1, 0, falling H trigger. So I need to put 1, 0, 1, 0. While the rest, I just put 0. Okay, so kosong B, always use the binary number kosong, 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 kosong. Okay, and then followed by 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay, di, di, okay, yang ni adalah int1 and int0 are following H trigger. Okay, let's say lah for the amps int2, I want to use the rising H trigger. Sorry, bukan macam ni. Okay, so what is the value that I need to put here? Dekat my MCU CSR. So, refer lah to your MCU CSR. For the rising edge, okay, what is the value? Okay, you see, eh, this is your rising, mana saya punya fan, eh. Okay, so this is my fan, okay. So, this is your MCU CSR, okay. So, MCU CSR, okay, only for INT2, okay. Either you want to use the falling edge or rising edge, okay, upon interrupt request. Okay, now I'm going to use the rising rising edge okay so the cut location ni isc2 which is at bit number six i need to put one okay what about the rest okay just put zero okay sebab yang lain-lain tu kita tak nak guna pun just put zero okay so kat sini zero b zero one zero 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 so what happened is int2 i use the Rising H trigger. Okay, semua okay lah bagian ni. Okay, next barulah I enable my SEI. Okay, lepas tu nak buat apa pula? After that. Okay, so after that. Y1. I put the Y1 kat sini. Open curly bracket, close curly bracket. Okay. Since okay, while one name is you want you going to do it continuously. Okay, you you waiting for your interrupt to happen. Okay, which switch that you going to press. Okay, so we just use the while one. Okay, before that, apa lagi yang tertinggal kat sini? Ada lagi tak yang saya tertinggal? Is there anything that I that I forgot to write here. So this is your main program. Is there anything that, uh, any instruction that I forgot to write in this programming? Ada satu lagi yang saya tertinggal kat sini. Okay, okay yang ni, yang ni, yang ni, yang ni. As a default, all LED will be lights up. Okay, every time you Switch on your micro P, semua LED akan menyala. So where where I want to put my uh, this thing here? Kat mana saya nak letak? Is it inside of of my Y loop or outside of my Y loop? Dalam Y. Ah, uh, saya, uh, yang ni I I don't think we need to put in Y loop. Okay, we need to put outside Y loop. Okay, because that one only happen one time. Okay, every time you 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 switch on your micro P, okay, all the LED will lights up once. Sekali sekaja. Okay, until you press the interrupt. Okay, if you after you press the interrupt, okay, and then it will uh, not 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 showing any uh, the LED will turn off. Okay, so I just put kat sini je lah. Port C sama dengan 0B11111. 1111. Betul ya? Eh? As a default, all LED will be light up. Ah, betul lah tu. Okay, as a default, all LED will be light up. Alright.
Okay, itu saja. Any question? Ada soalan tak? Before we end our class here. Is there any question? This is for the interrupt programming. Okay, so make sure that you follow all the steps that I'll give you in the video. Okay, there are a few steps that you need to follow. Okay, if you follow that step, I'm sure that you can answer the, you can do the interrupt programming. Okay, if no question, I think we, we can stop here. Okay, before that, okay, sebelum tu, okay, for those yang tak sign lagi your attendant, okay, please do so. Okay, tolonglah sign your 